<laughs> Welcome to Forgotten Legends of Sound. <laughs> and uh, it, it's been a long day, but we want to try to make these videos when we can, you know, so that's why we're doing it, even though it's been a long day. Um, but I don't want to start it on a major downer because we are doing a pretty awesome album. We're doing, this is uh, my pick for today. Uh, we're doing Skyfire Mind Revolution. And before I jump into the album, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the channel. Um, so like the last, like, I don't know, two months or so, we we're only doing the CD collection stuff. So it's been a while since we've done, gone back to like reviews, listening, talking about music and stuff. And that's something that kind of kickstarted our channel, like, cause we've been doing this for years and we always wanted to find other people that we could connect with also that were into like more obscure bands or bands that, you know, what revolver or metal sucks or whatever all these sites don't seem to talk a lot about you know no it's, it's always the same thing and yeah you get it because it's whatever's popular because it's, it's popular yeah but it's like there there should be a niche like it's the freaking internet but. yeah yeah and 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 we all felt like we wanted to at least create that niche and and, and we're not saying absolutely nobody listens to this kind of music um but at the same time these are bands that we all really love and, and, and all of us have different tastes and we all want to push it out there. And we're hoping to connect with other people that could also be like, wow, this is awesome that you guys are doing this. Can, and, can I inter know. intercept here real quick? Go ahead. This is <laughs> I my, need a this, drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is my thing. Is we're not saying that nobody listens to these bands, but I'm just tired of seeing reviews and stuff where they're just like, oh, you know, typical, you know, melodic death metal, nothing more to say, nothing more to hear here. <laughs> you know, and it's just like, we're, there's people that listen to this, but there's nobody who's giving it its due. So if we're able to do a full-on album, go Talk in about depth. Why it's cool. Because there's so many bands that nobody goes into depth on, and then it's just like there could be that one person who's like, dude, how come nobody feels this way about this album that I do? Like, yeah. no one cares about that moment in track six. No one cares that, like, oh, man, when yeah. the guy was right, you know. There, there's just all this in-depth like material that you could get into mm. and i'm just tired of certain bands that like have been just dead like yeah. like people people will talk about it just so that they can be like oh i know about everything but they won't <laughs> they won't be like you know like let's really talk about it hey hey culture culture pay attention to this band listen to this mm. band it's just like everyone's just trying to like dot their eyes and cross their yeah. t's like like you know oh yeah i know about it's this. like it's you like know. genius lyrics and stuff like we have a million interpretations for what kirk cobain meant in heart shape box <laughs> we have all these little you know well when he said this word yeah, here this yeah. is what it means and whatnot and and it's fun to and i think that's cool like right, it's cool right. like more but i better. wish that there was more for oh, obscure for bands things. For us to dig deeper into so that's kind of like the purpose of our channel was and that's why we called it forgotten legends sound it doesn't mean that these are bands that are like you know we we wanted to make sure they were unforgotten we should have called ourselves unforgotten <laughs> yeah, legends yeah. Sound. Yeah. What were we, thinking? <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to have more conversations about bands that people were not having so we felt like it's up to us to start that conversation, so to speak. You know? right. Plus, we also wanted to do it because it's just fun to do. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just and, fun rocking out with you guys. And and I know that there, there are people that will be like, well, who cares about this band? They only had like one album. Like, who cares? And then it's like, well, we care. So we want to go through the whole album and talk mm -hmm. about it. Because like, I guarantee you there's not other people out there who are going to take the time to... Who's going to spend their time on some of these bands? Yeah. Like, because they're going to look at it and they're going to look at it as like sort of a reward yeah. kind of thing. Like, yeah, but I don't think I can target enough people with this. Yeah. And we're kind of like, nah, fudge that, man. We want to target yeah. that one guy in Sweden or that one guy in America who, who like none of his friends listens to this band. Yeah. We want to target the, the, the very small percentile yeah. of people. Yeah. Who, who don't get represented. I'm tired of all the, the representation. Yeah, I'm tired. It's all the same crap. Yeah. It's all the same freaking list. It's just yeah. like... Yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm tired of everything being like, oh, let's pay attention because it's culturally relevant or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I want to like listen to stuff that's not culturally relevant or didn't right. make waves or didn't change the face of music and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm grateful for the bands that did do that. I just want to talk more about other bands too. Yeah. You know? I. It, it, it's like... I, I guess like there are some bands that are heralded because of impact. Impact is so important. But for me, I'm like, yeah, but dude, there's so many like bands and great playing and like like dreams put into something that was yeah. not impactful at all, but it's still good. You yeah. know, just because yeah. it wasn't impactful doesn't mean that the music is not good. The music yeah. is 
it's, it's still perfect. awesome yeah. yeah and so. that's the thing like a lot of these bands that we've done like they're awesome musicians they have great ideas like right. th there's a reason why we choose these albums for the channel um and even if like it won't be like a treasure and you know even if it takes 50 years for people to go back and be like What's yeah awesome. these <laughs> bands are like you know and it's just kind of like you know it's just a small way for us to be like, we are grateful for these awesome musicians that made our lives so much better yeah. by sharing like cool music with us, you know, yeah. and creating it and all the time they put into this. So this isn't just a caveat for Skyfire. This is a caveat for every single band that we do. Right. Like we we're, we really love this music and we think it's awesome. So, and, 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 <laughs> well, and again, from the heart, man. And it's not like, it's not like we're <laughs> Well, and it's not like we're like never gonna do something that's semi popular. Yeah. Like, like we like some popular bands too. Oh yeah, you know? yeah of course. Like, but yeah. it's just like yeah, this isn't just trash. The the popular yeah. stuff, right? You know? yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, man, I thought. Oh yeah, that's where I wanted to go. Um, but the other thing too is like yes, we want more people to get into these bands. Yes, we want you to go out and buy the album. Mm -hmm. We want you to support these artists. Some of these artists, like, you know you can't get it or it's just you know like like okay take for instance uh marching station i'm not telling people to spend 125 bucks on on like an album that's so hard to get and everything but find your way to support them whether it's like promoting them whether it's sharing or like buy it digitally you know mm -hmm. just because you don't have the cd or the the vinyl or whatever like we just want you to like support the the artists and stuff whatever way we're not can. yeah, yeah. We're, we're not here doing this to be like all right you know gravy train yeah. free stuff for <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. you know <laughs> it, it, it's like i i guess like because we're such a niche channel i guess i'm preaching to the choir because we're not targeting your regular joe who's just like i want to get all this for free we're targeting the diehard people the yeah. people that listen to some of these bands are really diehard and yeah. i'm like i know they already have the album because they're <laughs> yeah. diehard yeah what what yeah. like yeah like, I, I guess me, maybe it's a little bit, like, uh, high-minded, you know, elitist to be, like, but what kind of person delves super deep into underground whatever and doesn't buy the album? Doesn't, like, get it, you know? Like, I, I don't know. Dude, maybe, what kind maybe, of man are you? <laughs> <laughs> maybe you maybe, call yourself a music <laughs> man. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's another discussion, but, like, I'm pretty sure if you feel so hardcore about a band to defend it and to do this and that, but you haven't, like, bought it, you mm. haven't then, like... It's like, well, I, like you've bought a ton of albums. Dude, I'm going to be, buy, I, so I'm gonna be buying <laughs> like but, bands but, that I bought three to four times. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's because and, 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 you're and hardcore. Like, and, and, yeah, because you're, you're hardcore, man. because I made bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's like, but, yeah, well, like whatever. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying that, like, <laughs> you know, like, I, we want these bands to succeed. We want these bands to to be known and yeah. and if and if to get their due, like yeah, we want these bands to be like, dude. There are people out there that do really appreciate the stuff you guys right. created. You guys mm -hmm. have made some awesome stuff. And 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 let's 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 call it like borrowed borrowed credit. Okay, if you don't know the band real well and you start off just listening to it on YouTube, listening it for free. That's fine if you're yeah. like eventually gonna like buy it and everything. And you everybody know? has to like, start somewhere. Right, yeah. exactly. You have to, like if there's a band that I'm not like super into and everything, yeah. like I'm like I check okay, them out. I'll, I'll check it out all the time, yeah. you know. Like even back in the day when you only have 30 second clips, it's not like <laughs> yeah. you have to go in blind and just throw down money all the time. Yeah. I'm just saying that like, dude, we want you to like try and support these artists, you know, and what better way than to be like, hey you're you're worth my time and you're worth my money you know mm -hmm. those are two areas that you can give back to someone your mm -hmm. time and and your money your, you know yeah. so anyway i don't know if i needed to go into it but <laughs> but hey it's it fine. It fine yeah right here right here <laughs> um so. so yeah um i think we kind of got some stuff that's kind of been on our minds the last two yeah. months yeah one other thing i wanted to cover too was we created a rumble channel as well to upload stuff because the algorithms for YouTube and Rumble, I think, are different depending on what stuff is considered fair use, what stuff isn't. Sometimes it's just a whole process, and we've we've ran into issues with YouTube, and I've had to... It's just a lot more work for me to do to try to protest stuff and everything. So going forward, what we were planning on doing for the channel was we we're going to still do these full album kind of like, I guess, reaction, review, analysis, discussion, yeah. analysis stuff. We're still going to do that. But if it's not on YouTube, 
we're we have a rumble channel too that it might be there as well right. granted who knows maybe it some something won't be applicable for both channels but we wanted to be able to reach more people and we wanted to be able to share these sorts of discussions with people you know right. Um, and another caveat too is like if anybody from like one of these bands that we cover yes, exactly. anybody from like the record mm-hmm. whatever has a problem with us doing this and promoting this in this way then just let us know and we'll like yeah, we'll, we'll respect you just not the algorithm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's the that's the that's, yeah that's, that's exactly because that's, that's we, the, yeah. we, we have an we have an album like that we reviewed and we didn't put in timestamps and then YouTube's fine with it. Yeah. The moment we put in timestamps, the, the video flags it and says, oh, copyright. And we're just like, yeah, that doesn't sound like a That's, human. That sounds like, like algorithm. That sounds like a- algorithm garbage. Algorithm you slave. Know, algor- <laughs> you know, shout out to Zinnick, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, I am so sick of the algorithm garbage yeah. and this garbage yeah. freaking... Not taking into account all the nuance of... Mm-hmm. of right, stuff. right. There's yeah. no nuance. Like, all this technocracy garbage crap. Like, they, I understand they just want to protect their own butts. They, they don't want to get sued. They don't want to whatever. And I'm like, that's fine. But like the fact that you guys can't take the time, the nuanced approach to be like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, we're, we're not, we're not just freaking copywriting and trying to make profit and yeah. steal all this shit. Like we're not, we're not <laughs> yeah, yeah. doing all this garbage. Like it, it's like, yeah. it, it just bugs me that like our channel has been getting a lot of heat just because the algorithm is like, Fudge you guys. You guys are trying to steal... You know, we're, the freaking, we're the little guys, man. Who like, cares? <laughs> we're the freaking little but guys. Little, but, yeah, but, it's, but, but then I'll but, see like the same album like up on YouTube, and then it doesn't get nothing, and yeah. I'm just like, something's wrong with the algorithm and yeah. whatever. Anyways, sorry, y'all. Like, I know y'all... Yeah, we just like, we're ranting, fire, but, like, but, okay. but it's been a while since we've done an album, and, and yeah. those of you who don't... Uh, are like This is just some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. We do want to like do some awesome like reviews some awesome content and everything it's just that we're getting a lot of flack through through navigating through the system you know yeah and we want to do things ethically like we want to do things as you know that that follows the rules and everything and if something doesn't work for uh youtube then just check our rumble channel it might be there um but if it doesn't work for rumble either then Sorry, you know, and, like, that's just uh, the way it is. Like, yeah. and, and, and and we'll mention it, you know, if something and, doesn't work. And, and if there was a band that contacted us and was like, yeah, I don't want you putting this up or whatever, like, we yeah. would totally respect uh, yeah. their wishes because they've got this this view of things. Unless we give it a low score. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we'll question. I don't well, appreciate using user by copyrighted information <laughs> and then giving it a 2 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm but, it, but it's just kind of like, look, they might have a view on things and we might be un- yeah. unintentionally stepping on their toes. Yeah, I, I don't. We wanna, don't know. We yeah. we just don't know. Like we're like thinking like, oh, we're helping you guys. We're trying to promote you guys. You know, and and it, it just. I feel like it should go without saying. Like I don't feel like we need to put in the description of our videos like. Hey, you know, contact us, you know, like, you know, we're not trying to, we're not profiting, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, I feel like that goes without saying, like, dude, none of our videos are monetized. None of, like, we're not, we're just doing this, like, because we love music, you yeah. know, and we want to help out these bands and everything. But if they, <laughs> if they don't want our help, that's fine. Like, yeah. we're not, we're not going to be like, hey, fudge this band. Yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? It, it, like, we respect people, like, people have different things going on. Yeah. And we might be unintentionally stepping on their toes. Yeah. And I don't want to do that, man. Yeah. I, I want to yeah. help these guys. If I'm hindering them, then I'll yeah. stop hindering them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, and then, <laughs> at the same time, we are going to be absolutely honest. If there's one song that somebody just doesn't like, we're going to, like, give it a little score. And we're like, right. we love your album or whatever, but that song just wasn't very good. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. we don't want to compromise our values just right. to pander to whoever Anybody. and be like, yeah, we don't yeah. want to change how we score things, how we talk and whatnot. If someone doesn't like it, just let us know. You yeah, know? exactly. No pandering. <laughs> no fudge pandering. That. <laughs> fudge that too, you yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> so, and by the way, we do say fudge and stuff because, like, we have, like, you know, like family members, family members friends, and stuff yeah, that friends. have kids and like, whatnot. And, and we just, we want to be respectful we, to them, but guess what? We're all grown ass men and we can all say fuck. It's yeah. pretty easy. Yeah. But we try not to. <laughs> see, you so see like, how hard you see Chad that? tried not to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, no, I'm, the, I'm just making you're, a point. Yeah, you're, uh, I, I, no, it's, it's fine. fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. But, but it's just like, you know, like, that's why we say things like that because we don't, <laughs> 
But yeah, yeah. fudge and make fun but, of us, whatever. But, it's, cares, but if yeah. we if we do, then that's, it, that's okay too. You yeah, know, yeah. like if we slip, just, we slip. But yeah. we, we try not. To. We but, try. But yeah. I figured maybe people wanted to understand where we're coming from, yeah. and that's the reason why we conduct ourselves the way that we do. Yeah. You know? right. But you know, I mean, sh- should we just? We'll go really quick, like. Into Skyfire, what, why this album, Ian? Like, ooh, yeah, you know, well, yeah, well, yeah. well. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll Back, go through a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit. So, Skyfire, okay, so early 2000s is when I got into In Flames, Dark Tranquility, Children of Bodom, all of those melodic death metal bands. I was just all about those. And I heard Skyfire actually from Circuit City, but they didn't have like mm-hmm. any like clips and stuff, or at least I don't think they did. But it was kind of like some related sort of page or something, and oh. all of their albums were like fifty dollars or something imported. Like I from remember Japan. that. I yeah. Remember, so yeah. I was kind of like, man, dude, like I can't get any of their stuff because I was like a high school kid. I didn't have fifty bucks to drop on. I didn't have a PayPal account. I didn't yeah, have like yeah. all that stuff. So with Skyfire, uh, I don't remember how we got this album. Was it a gift or because I know I picked up Timeless Departure. Sure we we ordered it. I think we from had, Sound Exchange yeah. or something. I think yeah. we just, at, at a certain point, we bit we the bullet. We bit the bullet, yeah. yeah. So anyway, at some point in high school, we bought all their albums, and they only had up to Spectral oh, at that point. I think it was eBay. I think oh, it, yeah. it was probably eBay that we got the Skyfires, because there was probably I, I, some, I remember, some person. I remember getting the first the th- first and the third from eBay, but I, didn't okay. I thought, actually, I wonder if I got this from Laser CD, or oh, like CD yeah, Laser, or something. The Laser's Edge. Yeah, Laser's Edge. Laser's Edge. Could have been. Like, it might have been one of those. It was from a distributor in America that happened to have yeah. this album, and we were lucky enough to get it at a cheaper price than right. importing it from Japan or something. We, we would jump from site to site and try and find what would be the cheapest. But yeah. at that time, now, like, it was yeah. pretty expensive. Nowadays, it's a lot easier to pick up this stuff. Like, I looked on Discogs. I don't know if Discogs was even a thing back then, but I looked on Discogs, and a lot of their albums are fairly cheap, so... You know, yeah. you got a chance, like, you know, check, check them out. Um, but um, I hope that these, uh, you know, more people listen to this band. I love them. I always love their approach with, like, all these crazy pianos and awesome guitar leads and stuff mixed with uh, Henrik Wengren's, maybe I'm not pronouncing like that shrieks. right, his yeah. shrieks and yeah. stuff. I love their sound because it's, this is, like, some of the most high energy, high like, energy melodic yeah. death metal kind of stuff. People even say some of it sounds power metal-y because it's very symphonic sounding with just heavy use of keyboards and stuff. And I like it. I love that high energy approach that they take to it, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I first heard it, I think on their website, they had a two-minute clip of Curse by Belief and they had a two-minute clip of the song Skyfire from their first album. And this is on their official website, you know? And I remember listening to that part from Curse by Belief, the whole like... <laughs> and i was just like dude i was like oh yeah this is so sick like it it was so exciting but you know yeah the choice you make is yours and then same thing with that skyfire clip you know it's just like you know by your pathetic gods, and you know, it's like, <laughs> and then did that whole bit, and then like, and then the band's all like yeah. freaking going, going to ham on that crap. Anyways, I love Skyfire. Uh, I'm it's gonna be awesome doing this album. Um, as far as like melodic death metal albums go, this, this is like in my top five. Like ever, like this, right. I, I freaking love this album. The melodies are awesome. All the members do great. It's freaking high energy. They, there's never like a dull moment on the album because they're just go, go, go all the time. And I, I think that's awesome. I, I've got similar background. I remember Ian showing me some Skyfire because you're the one who pretty much got into them. Like you were more yeah, so the melodic than the guy. Death metal guy. I wasn't as much, but you know, I was coming along. And I, I do think this is a fantastic album. Um, definitely high energy. And it's very melody driven. So if you like melody over um, slow, crunchy, you know, um, I don't know. It's not the, the blues. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not the blues. It's, it's not yeah, like, yeah, it's not it's like very, morose. It's not. What about yeah. like riffing? Is there just some just good riffs, or is it like because what's the difference between a riff and then a melodic riff? I, um, I do feel like it's it's not as riff heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's more as, like Iron Maiden leads like all the yeah, time. That's pretty sweet. Like though. it's yeah. all the freaking time. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 It, yeah it's, like it's it's very much like soaring soaring okay. melodies all the time. They they don't go back to it. Yeah. You know, they they do have some chugging moments. Yeah, maybe but, a little bit, but yeah. but you know it's still really melodic though. Yeah, like yeah, I don't know. Okay. 
Um, I'm not going to add much more. I'm excited to go through this, so let's jump into it. But Anything Chad, you want yeah, to? with me, um, like I'm, I'm mostly like the traditional death metal thrash, and then like some death grind. That's my bread and butter. Um, Ian's been showing me a lot of melodic death metal. Like, dude, I found Death Chain. I found well, they're more traditional, but <laughs> but they're from Finland, so you know. Yeah. Oh, dude, I wish I wish I could go back on that, but whatever. But like Lick, Lick's Lick's melodic death metal. They're freaking mm -hmm. awesome. At the gates, slaughter of the soul, freaking awesome, yeah. dude. Freaking dark tranquility. Like you've shown me a lot of awesome melodic death metal, and it's a it's a subgenre of death metal I need to jump in more, yeah. but I haven't. But since you guys have been showing me power metal with all the keyboards and the yeah. soaring guitars and soaring like vocals stuff, vocals, stuff. yeah, it's it's been growing on me a lot more, and I'm interested to see what I'm gonna think of this. I guess. Yeah. 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 And, and yeah. with the lyrics and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm I'm definitely and, interested to see. And something that we are gonna start doing. Um, this is just something new that we're doing is we're going to do like little five minute kind of reviews because we know that some people don't have the attention. They don't have two hours. Yeah. They're like, I'm busy. I, I can't listen to two hours of people just talking about music and listening to it. So we're going to also create afterwards, just like a little like five minute review, just a little bite-sized bit of kind of like encompasses everything that we talk about in this. Yeah. So that's going to come to, um, are you guys pretty much ready to just jump in? Yeah, let's do, let's do it, man. Skyfire, and I, I feel like I have to do this. <laughs> Skyfire, <laughs> yeah, my fudging revolution. I had to throw them up. up. Dude, dude. <laughs> Sometimes you got them, man. Sometimes you just dude, got them. Nightmare is never more. Such a good, dude, such an awesome track. track. Okay, here is uh, the first track from Mind Revolution. This came out in 2003. Uh, the first track is Nightmares Never More. And we're going to rank this one. Yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. 
All right, Ian, you okay. go first. Uh, I go first. Um, I'm giving that song a freaking ten, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just, it's just so freaking cool. I love the lyrics. The lyrics are kind of like, I'm. It's like F society. Yeah. I'm gonna become myself. Be, a, be unknown. Loneliness is no disease. You cannot penetrate inside my world. You know, like uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. You know, um, ten. The melodies. It's it's short, but it's just. Straight to the point, like just an awesome and dude, song. Right out of the gate, it was just like, let's freaking go, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just go right away. Yeah. I know you knew that one pretty well because yeah, yeah. I remember you were spinning it a lot back in the day. Um, but yeah, what do you give it, Kevin? I give it a 10 also. I I love, like, like that's one thing that I really liked about like Lost Horizon also. Mm-hmm. There's this call to individuality. This call to, I don't like when metal is like, we are strong, we're all together, <laughs> you know, and, and it feels, it, it feels very like, like, I remember there was a lot of that vibe in with like the, the pop punk stuff in the mm. 2000s and uh, what was that Imagine Dragons or whatever? when mm. they were getting big, just everything became very choral. Mm. Everything became very mm. much like togetherness and chants and things. And I just, I like the call to individuality because it's like, it, we're, we're not all just this big pot all together in this. Yeah. Like we all have our own inner thoughts and, and desires Interest and dreams. And, and, yeah. yeah. And I, I like that this song is all just kind of like, yo, it's my world and everything, and no one's going to penetrate my world and get to me or whatever. Yeah. And, and it's now, it can also be like, yeah, well, it's kind of closed off, you know? Like, <laughs> but, but man, it, it, it just, it's a cool calling card uh, song for individuality, you know? Yeah. Like, just. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. You know, it's my world. You're in it. It will bring you down in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I liked a lot of the lyrics. Yeah, the, the, chiller about them. Okay, okay. All, right. All right, Chad. What do you think for this, dude? One? Um, I'm gonna go with a nine on that one. Just Iron Maiden on steroids. Mm, yeah. And like, dude, yeah. was there a blast beat in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there was a blast beat yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, why? Why you? I, why yeah. you talking to me? Like, like, what, what do you want me for? I, like, I, yeah, I yeah. just I, okay. I'm I'm jabbing. Yeah. Because Kevin's like, dude, blast beats suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just like, I don't think I've ever said blast beats suck. I said they they okay, are so, okay. they are I was oh, yes yeah, yes they okay. So... I was I I was generalizing it. I was <laughs> yeah. poking. I'm po- I poked they the bear. Were, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I poked the bear. They were they were so overused and yeah. And I don't like that blast beats are just like used as like we'll do it for the verse, let's do it for the bridge. But dude, there's let's do it for the chorus. But sometimes like, they're so impactful, and it's just like oh, oh sure, oh, sure, yeah, yeah, like, yeah exactly, yeah, impactful. But, but sometimes they're so but, okay, watered down yes, okay, that, that, that it, it's just it's just constant. Yeah, it, yeah. it, 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 it destroys the kind of becomes noise at yeah. a certain point. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's just tons of crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm it's done. all it's all good. But but yeah. I, 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 I'm not a fan of blast beats, you know. I, it's not like I hate them, but like I just I've heard them like in my I'm a drummer and I feel like I've heard them so just overdone mm-hmm. that like the band is trying to be all heavy and hardcore in your face that I'm just kind of like, dude, guys, like metal's been going on for fifty Kevin's like, fudging years, doesn't like, me. like it, it doesn't <laughs> because it's just like this this trying to be so hardcore all yeah. the time. It's so old hat. I'm just so like mm-hmm. done with it. You're like, done with it. It just. <laughs> Oh, freak, yeah. <laughs> I gotta play <laughs> faster than, than, than the, the, the thousands of other drummers who also play as fast as me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Just, are you guys ready for Haunted by Shadows? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Um, also, if anyone feels like they need to talk about that first one, then just put your initial All next right, to that yeah. to, mm-hmm. yeah. for the, the short interview. All right, here is Haunted by Shadows. Well, I'll take I'll take number one if you, if none of you guys are. Yeah.
this one has like more of a sub new vibe yeah. than the first one. Henrik could like scream for a long time. Like some of his like screams, he'll, he'll, he'll hang on to him for a while. But yeah, Kevin was mentioning that the two guitarists are the ones that also do the piano, all the keyboard stuff too. So it's kind of cool, you know. So props to both of them. You know? Yeah. I know the, this outro. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Well, okay. What are you guys doing? Yeah, it just takes a while to fade out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm gonna give it a 10. Um, I'll give it a 9.5. I, I think this is a solid follow up to track one, but I don't love it as much as track one. I, I, um, but it's a great just mid tempo song. I think maybe some like transitional things. Maybe I'd like something to be a little more or something. And maybe the the lyrics just didn't catch me the way that track one's lyrics mm. did. But, but I mean. You know, I, I still think it's a fantastic follow-up song, track two. It's great. So, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give it a 9.5. Not much more to add, though. Yeah. What do you think, Chad? Man, I definitely like the first one a lot better. Um, let's go with a oh, 7.5 on that one. I did like the lyrics, though. Just like, I don't know, it almost seemed like coming to that new land is like this new start or something. But, like, mm. like yeah, the, the shadows of the past, the haunting them. And, I don't know, like... And, uh, like, another thing with melodic death metal, it seems like, I think we've had this discussion before, but, like, um, like traditional death metal is, like, the the angry caveman aggressive crap, mm. and the lyrics are just kind of violence and death and all that. And then, like, with melodic death metal, it almost like seems more like more highbrow, yeah, and more, like, <laughs> internal, str like, like highbrow, like, kind of, I don't know. The lyrics just, they're a little better, I guess. But... <laughs> <laughs> only with some, only with some, 
<laughs> but at the same time, like a lot of time when I listen to this music, I'm not diving deep into the lyrics. I'm just doing it for just the feel of like right. the vocals almost become like another instrument for me. Mm. But yeah, with this, yeah. it's cool going through the lyrics and listening to it. I did enjoy that song. It, He's like, yo, you know, it's like <laughs> highbrow. It's like trying to be this. And that, but pretty darn cool. <laughs> oh, no, I just, I mean, like in the sense that like, oh, hmm. yeah, yeah, I just yeah. mean that like, it's, it's a little more. Th- There's more to it than yeah. just like, than just, oh, well, like just well, we, well, we were talking like on another video about like, like visceral versus like internal. And, and then we talked about dark game and no, dude, dark, dark, dark game is a little like, more poop. internal. Yeah. They're, they're not, they're not all that visceral. Yeah. Um, but, but some bands go the more visceral uh, route. Other bands go the more internal. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Uh, and I almost feel like, I almost feel like maybe, like, I don't think you have to do certain lyrics for like certain music, but I do think right. some kind of fit better with, fit, yeah, like, sure. with others. Yeah. yeah. And like with those kind of soaring melodies and like, like softer sounds instead of just like heavy and brutal, I'm almost like maybe it, maybe it kind of, maybe it kind of fits better with that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Yeah. If they had lyrics about like hacking and stuff, I feel wouldn't... like I mean I feel like I'd still like it, um, but I don't know. It would just be kind of in a different kind of thing. Because well, like Children of Bodom is a similar vibe, but a lot of their but, lyrics are yeah. like "fudge you, mother fudger" and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And those lyrics don't really do much for me, but I still enjoy the music so immensely that I think for me the lyrics aren't as important as like the music is. Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. I, I, so yeah, I, I agree. I think Children of Bodom is a little more visceral than than like Skyfire is, you know, mm. because they'll be like you know like you know, butt drunk, chain, chainsaw, you know, whatever, this and that. And, and it's just like, but I, I think, uh, I remember back in the day being a bit like, you know, uh, children of them, they're just trying to be all heavy and, and they're trying to be all like in your face and stuff. And, and I wonder if that works for some people because ch- to me, children of them has a lot more attitude in their music. Mm-hmm. Whereas like, I don't think Skyfire has as much attitude mm-hmm. as children of them. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and, I think and it I, just depends what mood I'm in because I I enjoy both. Yeah. And I think yeah. I think with melodic death metal, I need to jump into a lot more bands because I know there's so much more that I'm gonna just really like. And this is, I listen to these guys every once in a while, but I need to jump a lot more into them. Even with like Dark Tranquility, I need to jump a lot more into those guys. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving it a ten. I think it's a perfect song, and I I like that the uh, verse section is more like restrained sounding and wanna, you know, while the, the keyboards are just kind of. You know, I think that's cool. And it reminds me a little bit of like uh, in 2002, uh, In Flames had that song, uh, Trigger, where it's like, it seemed like, I don't know, this song reminds me of like Soul Work too, like Natural Born Scout. Mm, sure, kind of sure. Because they all kind of had a similar vibe where they had like this melodic death metal kind of vibe, but they also had the keyboards kind of complimenting, but they all mm. did it in their own kind of way. Um, but I don't know. I think it's an awesome song. I give it a 10. Um, yeah. You guys ready to move on? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Here is Colliding in Mind. Wow. <laughs> wow.
little guitar at the end. All righty, uh, Chad, yeah. it's your turn to yeah, begin this up, one. Chad. Let's see. Uh, go to the scores real quick. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, um, a lot of mental struggle in this album, huh? Yeah, yeah. struggle. <laughs> a lot of struggle. A lot of internal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, um, dang. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to these scores for right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with an eight on that one. I did like it more than two. Mm. Yeah. And and it's just, it's, it's weird because like some of it's like can. Some of it can be like really beautiful sounding and then kind of like going back to like the speed and the f like ferociousness. Mm. I don't know. Like I, I got to get a little more used to like yeah. I, some of this is metal. This is just your take for today. Yeah. You know? just yeah, not yeah, to yeah. end yeah. all be all yeah, time so, chat so let's, score. Let's, let's do know? an eight on that one. I, I, I do find it interesting that just if there's just a tonal shift, then like someone likes it or doesn't like it, you know? And yeah. that's interesting to me because it's like, yeah. it's like, dude, like, like that's the thing that bothers me is like, Someone can be doing the, the same exact riff, the same exact, you know, whatever, but in the context of a death metal song or the context of a melodic death metal song, then the death metal people won't like it if mm. the melodic band does it or if, if you know, vice versa or whatever. I feel like because tonally, like what you're using the riff for changes. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know. this might be like people have different like appeals to them like if the vocals were all guttural throughout rather than the high shriek you know sure like, sure. like my friend was kind of like i didn't really like the high shriek kind of vibe or whatever right. and then for him maybe if the, the whole time is like where do you know the right, you right. know like guttural more, like that then yeah. they might be like oh yeah this is this is like cool with the pianos and stuff so i don't know it's just everyone has kind of different tastes that, I, yeah, I love his high yeah. shrieks though that but, would be interesting if if it was all low gutturals yeah. like how the sounds how, would that change how, would it change, change, how, it, how you, different would it sound yeah, yeah. I, I i was thinking too i was like man like I'm, I'm not shooting shots at death metal or anything i i think it's wonderful but like but here's my <sighs> here's my question is um with uh I feel like with a lot of melodic music, I hear a lot more like key change and, and mm -hmm. whatnot, you know? Yeah. And, and I wonder, like, I'm trying to think of like key changes used in death metal. Like, yeah. just kind of, you know, I don't know if they're or like as yeah, interesting. Death stuff, like, you know? how many I hear that. Like, like yeah. that, there's that creator song that I liked, that uh, melodic song. It's more of the poppy creator song, but it had a key change in it. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. That, that uh, you know, voices, um, I was. What's that song called? Voice. Speaks to the Dead yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that, that's <laughs> dead, Evergreen. Dead. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, uh, Voices of the Dead. I think yeah. that's, that's the name of the song, you know? But like, that one's got, like, a key change in yeah. it. And I'm like, oh, that's there, cool. Yeah, there's certain things that uh, music does that, like, I don't know. Sometimes some people won't like it. Other people would, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like the whole freaking Africa ending, you know? Like, right. Or, like, just a lot of the AOR stuff, you know? Right. Like, when you go into the last chorus, then it's, like, even higher and, and, right. and whatnot. Yeah, more. And, and, and it, you know, these dudes do put that to good effect, you know? Uh, even though it's melodic death metal and not just, like, pop rock stuff in the 80s. Or, right. You know, but I, 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 I do think, though, if you're using key changes in your music, that inevitably leads to more melodic stuff. Yeah. You know, like, inevitably. It definitely like, changes things up, you know? Yeah. It makes it so it's less static, less, you know? Yeah. But some people really like the, the more static, you know, like, just, yeah. I think I'm going what'd you, what'd you guys give it? I think I'm going 9.5 for that one. Um, I do think it's fantastic. I think I like the first two a little bit better. <laughs> But at the same time, man, some days I give, yeah. like, this whole album tens. Right. And I'm trying to be, like, a little bit more prudent, more judicious yeah, in my ratings. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, sometimes I'm, like, 10, 10, yep. 10, <laughs> you know. And I don't know. A part of me wants to just give this one. Fudge, I'm giving this one a 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do what I got to do, you know. Because yeah. I just love the hell. <laughs> mm -hmm. While he's... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's just it's, yeah. I'm giving it a ten. It's so cool. Like I guess Martin Hanner, Hammer Hanner, and uh, I, I got to shout out these two dudes' names because these dudes are yeah. Martin Hanner and Andres Edlund. Like these two dudes are fudging. They make some awesome freaking guitar leads, awesome piano like keyboard stuff, and and I like how it the songs like just intersperse both of those together, you know, like right. at one moment it will be a guitar leading the melody. And then another moment it will be the keyboards doing the main melody. And I just think it's awesome. They made some cool, cool music. I, I, I do think with this band too, I think for some people there's too many notes being hit. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I feel like 
it can be a little overwhelming for some yeah. people because mm-hmm. it's it's just constantly it's just it's so much stimuli so yeah. much stimuli like it, like listening to like newer blind guardian can be mm. too much for people because yeah. too much stimuli and i feel like th- this right that might be you know it's yeah, just like, yeah it's just so bombastic bombastic just, yeah so yeah. i think these guys are a bit bombastic you know with their yeah. you know everyone's doing stuff but yeah but that's how my brain works like i like hearing like oh this guy's doing this and then like, the this more guy, the better do, mm-hmm. for you yeah. yeah the more the better Whereas like a doom metal thing, it has a totally different feel. Like if it's yeah, like, yeah, if it's just like and waking up to the never end. It's like like that's like three notes like the whole time, just three notes. Yeah. But it's like a totally different feel from mm-hmm. like a death doom kind of song. Versus yeah. some hyper melodic, right. just fast heading, you know. But, but yeah. I just think for some people, their brains, it just sounds like a mesh or yeah. a mess, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, you and I were like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they're doing like, <laughs> but, but, but it, it yeah. goes back to what we we're talking about the, the classical versus the blues crowd. Yeah. We're yeah. the classical, so like, listening to you know, a, yeah. a lot of notes being played, like, we're just used to that, you know. Yeah. Whereas some people might not be used to it, yeah. So. Um, it's true. What do you give it, Kevin? I'm going to give it a 9.5 as well. I think this one, I like it about similar to track two. I like the lyrics in this one more than track two, but track two does have some awesome moments that I'm like, I don't know. I, I like them both, but for different reasons, you know? What are you going to um, do? They're both pretty freaking awesome. Sometimes, sometimes when I listen to this song, I feel like the, the talking part lasts a little mm. too long before they finally get into the chorus. Mm. And then they've, they've got the chorus like four times, you know? And, and so it just... I wonder if it would have been cool if they had a part where they went back to, you know, the more thrashing out section, yeah. you know. About a minute they, and a half into the song, it's it, that's it, all done. Yeah, exactly. All that's done. They don't go back to it. So I sometimes yeah. I'm I I still like the song though, but yeah. yeah, it's still a lot of cool. That's the thing too is like they cram a lot of cool ideas in a song. It's like if I could pin it, pick out a song and be like, oh, I love that verse section. Oh, I love that part after the chorus. Oh, I love the chorus melody. Like when right. it has so many sections, because there's other songs where I'm like chorus you know the verse is okay that midsection is okay but i love that chorus yeah. but the other parts are okay you know like and and i feel like skyfire jam packs it with a lot of cool melodies and it makes it so yeah. the songs are pretty engaging for me should we move on to uh dawn will break yeah yeah let's do it man here we go <laughs> no bass all right you can actually hear the bass yeah <laughs> Oh, man. 
I like how it just plays so cool. Yeah, you thought they'd go up. Yeah, I Guys, dang. <laughs> All right, Ian. Oh, man. I hate to oh. throw out tens like candy, but uh, <laughs> one of those ten days, huh? This is one of them ten, ten days. Ten, ten little days, ten huh? days, you know. I'm doing a ten, guys. Yeah. I'm doing a ten. <laughs> no, I love that freaking song. Like, the thing is, during the talking part, like, Skyfire is a band where they're like, no, nah, I'm a guitarist. I don't want to just do, like, a chugging riff. So, like, when they're doing the, -na 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 -na, the part when he's, like, shrieking, they're like, we ain't freaking doing like a, you know, like some yeah, kind of yeah. chugging just, along, you know, whatever. Instead, he's like doing like, more adventurous. it's like more, yeah, it's more adventurous. He's just doing that though, like doing lead stuff the whole time. And granted, if you were seeing them live, the guy would probably just be like, yeah, doing like this the whole time. time. <laughs> he'd be like yeah. doing this. Whereas other people would be head banging, but he'd probably be like, you know, yeah, just doing this the whole time. He's like, I got to do this. I got to focus on it. Do, 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 you know? <laughs> but then the way it's just like, this can't be real. And then going into the den outside. Get over. Fudging guitar hero, man. Whoever is doing that, it's just, ah, I freaking love it. And then back to the... It's just, that's just a good song, you know, catchy, short to the point. Awesome. It, it's funny because I, I don't know. I think this one, I'll give it a nine. I do like this song, but I feel like this one is less impactful for me. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think probably because it's like, it's one of those songs where it's like, as you're going through the album, it's like there's elements of the first three songs in this song. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the chorus just doesn't feel as strong to me with mm -hmm. the slowdown. It doesn't feel as strong of a chorus to me as just some of the choruses in the, the first three uh, songs. So That's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame, you know. But, you know uh, so anyways, yeah, I'll give it a nine. <laughs> what are you getting at, Chad? Uh, that was probably actually my favorite one so far. It's ah. it's hard for me to recall like a lot of the stuff I was enjoying that ah. I liked. I definitely have to give it more of a listen, but and I did like the little whole bass part at the beginning and then they just like busted <laughs> in because I thought yeah. it was going to be kind of slower and then they're like, nope, psych. Psych. Yeah. 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 No, just true. Busting that, that intro yeah. is good. I'm going to yeah. go for uh Yeah, fudge it. Let's give it a 10. <laughs> yeah. Really? Masterpiece, yeah. Chad? Really? Yeah. I mean, really? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me say yes <laughs> myself. He, he hates Flash Beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what does he know? What does he know? <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's a cool yeah. song. And, and honestly, all of our ratings for all of these are pretty high. Like, yeah, yeah. if we're I, like, if we're all splitting hairs about nine point five or a ten, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah honestly, I don't, it's all pretty cool. I don't stuff. think there's gonna be anything <laughs> average or any songs gonna be super. Yeah, cool. like five or right, four or anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just a fun album. Uh, yeah. You guys ready for Uncloud the Sky? Yeah. yeah. Uh, before we go into this one, dude, that piano break in it, dude. I remember when I first heard that. I was freaking captivated. Mm. I was so blown yeah, away yeah. when he when he's mm. doing the piano while he, during the verse section. Like, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I'll here just, is uh, uncloud the sky. I'll just put a K right here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna just put an I next to Don will break too. Okay. Unless, do you want to do that one, Chad, or, or should I do that one? Go ahead and do that one. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna have a tough save. So. That's fine then.
for that. I don't know what the whole cast is kind of. I'm gonna give that one a ten. Um, yeah. This is like my my second favorite track on the album. I I think I do like Nightmares Nevermore more more, <laughs> more but dang, I really like Uncloud the Sky a lot. Um, that that high shriek, you know, during that sort of soloing kind of just yeah. like that that shriek. I don't know if it was just done as it was recorded and produced and then overlaid and everything, yeah, or if he's actually if he doing it for that, that for a long time. Long. <laughs> Because you hear him go on, it's the same note, but then at the end it lowers the note and then it fades out, you know. Yeah, like, and ah. and so I just don't know if 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 it's more, you know, CD wizardry, you know, production <laughs> wizardry, or if he's actually because oh, if he, held, he is, if he held it, that was what like twenty seconds or thirty. It was a, it was a long, long it was a long was freaking a long note. To, yeah. Should we just play that part? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah play that. I want, I want, I want to hear. Yeah, yeah, how, long, yeah. how long you've been holding that note? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a long freaking note, you know. Yeah, no, it um, is. You might have to unlock, like, hit the thing yeah, and open it up. Right. Yeah, but I, I love that song. I love during the talking part and everything with that piano coming. <laughs> then while everyone's yeah. just chugging <laughs> along, <laughs> 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 yeah, because I love how the piano fades in and then uh -huh. fades out. Like it's yeah. just, it's just it's so just, cool. You know, I like. Should we do that like, part again too? I like. That. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, man. I'm, I can hear that part. So it's like somewhere around. Yeah, back to the talking part. Yeah.
Yeah, because it, but also it's, it's, like, on, it's really in the background yeah. too. Like also when you're here on headphones too, I think smart. you can hear it kind okay. of fade in and fade out. More. Yeah, I, on headphones, yeah. dude, it would fade in one ear and then go out the other ear. Exactly. Like, <laughs> so sick, so dude. Dude. Do that, yeah. yeah like, that's pretty I, dope. Let's like, see how long this dude could freaking breathe while yeah, he's yeah. shaking. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, okay, let's count it too. So it starts at 348. I'll just look it on here. And the music is just gone. That's cool. Hey. Yeah. Still going. So uh, <laughs> it was 348 through 414. So what was it 58, 08? It was like 20, um, 08, then 2 plus 4. So say, it was like 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Dang, dude. Like, but, but like and to hold that kind of like scream. Yeah. Yeah. And then whoa, at the end, like bring it in. He's like, yeah, in, in the studio, he's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah. <laughs> like, hold that note. He's like, ah. <laughs> just sitting there like, ah, and they're like, just a little bit long. Ah, you know? And they're like, I think we got it. <laughs> well, well, and, and that's what I'm curious is if he, he did the whole thing Jeez. all all together. Or, or, or if, or if yeah, they, they just they just it. spliced it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I wonder, know. you know, I don't know. So if anyone knows, yeah, like, yeah, if he did it in one take, that's like, impressive as crap. Yeah. 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 yeah, like, good job. Because, again, I like it when people give it their I all. Mean, you know, mm-hmm. and that's giving me your freaking all, man. I mean, guys, look at this dude, man. I think he probably ha- he's got them eyes. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, he yeah. nailed that. He, 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 he nailed, nailed that, he nailed like that shit. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. You know, you know he nailed that twenty six second screen. You know, like he's got that determined look yeah, in his face. Yeah. He's just well, like, but he's I, like, I just really, gonna do it. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like this is a I feel like this is a really special album, and I feel like people are just quick to just be like, ah, you know, more more more. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think this is like yeah, the more death metal. Yeah, album, so. no, I I agree with you. Like, yeah. it's really adventurous. It's freaking. It's so hyper. This is like hyper melodic. If everything right, else right, is, yeah. is melodic death metal, this is like melodic melodic death metal. You <laughs> yeah. know, like it's just it's fudging. It's cram packed with just so much melody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what do you, you give do? this song, Chad? Man, dude. Um, I know this isn't like set in stone or anything, but I'm having trouble rating this. Let's, yeah. let's go with a nine. Let's go with a nine on that one. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. Kind of like Nightmares Never More. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then you, um, of course, give it a ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. I, I give it a ten. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> what more do I need to say? It's an awesome song. And honestly, like, from what I remember back in the day, that was... I remember loving Nightmares Nevermore. I don't know. I just remember being really impressed with that song. And when yeah. I heard it, it blew my mind. Yeah. You know? I, I, I also, I really like the drums in Nightmares Nevermore, but I also like the drums in this one too. Mm-hmm. I guess maybe like all of his change-ups and everything. I just, maybe that's why tracks one and five just stick uh, out more. Stick out more for the drummers. Because yeah. the drummers, drummers yeah. That work. Going yeah. right when they say violins, playing it my, you know, like, and then going into the faster, like, I, I just like the drummer is keeping it fresh. You yeah. know, so anyways, yeah, I do like that lyric violins playing at my funeral. Oh, oh that's kind of emo. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, violins. <laughs> I, I like the part when he was just like, let's die together. And, you know, and he was just like, I loved you. And then you I, broke my heart. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, no, those lyrics aren't there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Should we press on? Yeah, let's press on with all at possible least, dispatch. At least, at least your traditional death metal doesn't have that cringy stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. All right. You guys ready for Shapes of Insanity? Yeah. Well, we like love songs and heartbreaking songs. Yeah. It just, yeah. We just we just right. has to be done right. Yeah. We just like giving stuff crap too. Oh yeah. <laughs>
it works for you, it's not the other side. It's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it seven eight? Oh, it's your turn to start. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Never mind him. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 he's just doing right. whatever he's doing. Right. Right. He's, he he's just started so. talking. <laughs> dude, I freaking Ted, dude. That song was, <laughs> man, that song was engaging. Oh, and do that little, that little, little <laughs> stuff. Oh, all right, all right. No, dude, like, that was, was it heavy <laughs> enough? Dude, it was, yeah, it was heavy enough, dude. I was getting stink face. I was like, oh, like dude. And then that, little, that little creepy part thrown in there. Just the title yeah, yeah, yeah. of the song, dude, the Shapes of Insanity. Like, I, I don't know, like, the music almost fit with the title. The lyrics were cool. Like, yeah, dude, a, a 10 for me on that one. That one was fun as crap. Nice. Cool. I'll, um, t- I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it too. Uh, that one's probably one of my least favorites on the album. Oh, I still like. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. Hey, I, I hey, still think I it's cool. I, like. I still think it's a great song. Uh, I think I'm gonna go an eight for it. Um, it's a little bit long. It's like six minutes. Um, and some of the the prog deviation stuff doesn't do as much for me. I mean, it's still cool, but it it doesn't. But it doesn't. The song doesn't catch me. But at the same time, I feel like I'm really impressed with it because it is kind of different than the like this one and track nine are like the two longest ones. And I'm glad that they made a song that was like you know, did more exploring kind of different kinds of stuff, you know? But so, s- sometimes but, short and to the point is... Yeah, I think I'm kind of Especially like with... Pop pop kid, you know? <laughs> I like that pop crap. Go three, back three minutes. Go back to <laughs> Justin Bieber, man. Yeah, go back to Justin Bieber, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I give it eight. What do you give it, Kevin? I'm going to give it a nine. I do like this one, but I like it about the same as track four. Ah, keeping um, the peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. my, my issues with this song, I like the proggy sections and everything. Yeah. I like the change-ups and everything. But my issue is that I feel like the talking part is a little derivative of stuff they've already done before. Uh, you know, like, um, especially the guitar leads, you know? You know, like when the guitar is doing is kind of leading, you know, it feels similar to the other songs, you know, so it just wow. doesn't break out as much for me. Um, you know, I, the chorus isn't as strong as some of the other choruses. It just so my issue is more so not really with the instruments, but more so with like <laughs> a little bit of like they've done this before in some of the other songs. Yeah, so, no, no, I, I can get that. Yeah, so. I mean, I could hear that criticism with other songs, too. Right, right. Oh, this yeah. song does this, you know, like, and, and that, that's kind of just their vibe. They right, like freaking right. doing lead guitar stuff, mm-hmm. pianos, and, and whatever I, stuff. And if that's not your jam, then, oh, I know it's your jam. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's your jam, too. But, like, <laughs> if that's not someone's jam, they're not going to be all gung-ho. Because yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember Falconer, the Falconer album, having a little bit of that issue. When you get to some of the later songs on that mm-hmm. and self-titled, some of the guitar yeah. sections and parts... Just felt a little bit like yeah. lesser versions of some of the the the, the not better differentiating songs. enough, not differentiating yeah. enough. So, anyways, yeah. yeah, but you know, still still a great song, but yeah, definitely a weaker yeah. one for me as well. But yeah, should we move on to "Blinded by Euphoria"? Yeah, we... I actually do like this one. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah, this, this one's, one's cool. This one's um, I don't know if anyone wants to talk about that one, but oh yeah, Chad can talk about the last one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you really want it? No, dude. I'm, I like. like I said, it's not gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hear a lot of like. You know, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll put interject right there, though. Well, I mean, for our discussion, there's more like this person is done it, and this person is done it. It's not really conversational. It's just kind of over here. Yeah, the sharing for just a, yeah. But it's whatever. We'll talk about it after. <laughs>
You were wow, supposed dude. to go for 26 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, uh, I, I, his vocals are fucking awesome. Yeah, um, this is you, bro. I give it a 10. <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm giving it a 10. <laughs> uh, just an awesome song. I like the dynamics. I like that they go like softer at parts and then heavier and ham on other parts and stuff. It's just a freaking dope song. The lyrics are cool. Just 10. What do you say, um, Kevin? I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's quite 10. There's little minor gripes I have with it, but like I, I love the way this. Are this, you on my side with this one? <laughs> this song, this song to me, it, it, it. How do I put it? I feel like this song just breathes really well. Yeah. You know the way it slows down and then picks up. It's got some great transitions. I like yeah. the chorus a lot, and man, I like the lyrics. Man, I like, I like the call for individuality. Like. Who told you to think this way? Why do you have these thoughts? You know, this is not your own. And then it's just like, yeah, man, freaking yeah, man. culture, <laughs> co culture consensus garbage crap. Like, yeah. you know, it, it just, I like that, you know? So yeah. I, I'm going to give it a 9.5 though. I don't, I don't think it's masterpiece like track one and five are, but I, I, I think it's or a six. solid song. Yeah. Oh, oh, or, or six too. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> yeah. need to be writing your, your initials down. <laughs> what do you want to get? <laughs> Uh, dude, I just. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you um, what do you give this song, Chad? Yeah, I, I did miss some, but I mean, I'm I'm gonna give it the nine. I could still hear it going on, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I gotta I gotta I don't have much else to add from what you guys said. I just is a nine, all right? Get off my back. <laughs> I, I, do, I do like in the chorus when uh, when it, he says like you know trying desperately to get this feeling out of my mind, yeah. but every time I try, it's just like something's, something's dragging you back. back. Believe me, yeah. and. And it's just like, man, that that, like, oh. yeah. that I, I man, like that, I like uh, that, the the pain and the and the sort of like the battle, the struggle. Yeah. Every time you know, it's just like something yeah, it, it's like uh, here here's for you, Chad. Um, yeah, <laughs> unwanted emotions stuck yeah. like a thick like layer of glue. Yeah, <laughs> dude, no, it's, weakness. It'll break, it'll break you down, down make, make you blind, blind away. And never. Yeah, like that. Euphoria, oh, you live in a dream. Dude, you can smell Rihanna's flower. Dude, like, drugs. That's just, yeah, <laughs> drugs, you guys. It's <laughs> drugs. It's drugs. <laughs> What, like drugs. before and after <laughs> hatred toward the lie, you live in euphoria. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Dude, dude, drugs. This is a ten. Drugs. It's a ten, Chad. It's a ten. It could be. It could be a ten. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, I like oh, I like when man. when when you <laughs> know blinded by euphoria and like yeah. you know, People, it could be anything. It yeah, could it, be could drugs, be, it could be, be falling in love with someone who it doesn't could, actually love you. It, yeah. could be, it could be anything. It could be freaking, yeah. Yeah, it's like That's Shapes of drugs. Insanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like, I like that. The whole, like, it's a 10. It's a 10, gosh yeah, dang it. It's a 10. 
But but yeah. it, it, I, I like the lyrics in this one, yeah. you know? I think it's cool, too. I think it's about drugs, too. Yeah. I think it's like, no, the, like I, a separation. Dude, like, yeah. A, 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 a separation between living living in, like, honest truth, reality, and living in a lie. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they talk a lot about living in a this lie. comfortable and lie. Like, this, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and I, and, and yeah. so it's and not pretty soon you're gonna, drugs. And pretty soon you're going to wake up and smell reality's flower. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it might not smell too good. Not right. Very good. Yeah. Yep. Cool. How about some of that cage, huh? Yeah, you guys ready for caged? Oh, yeah. you comfortable with a nine, or are you un- most more? Are you more <laughs> uncomfortable with James of Insanity? Give that yeah. a ten. Oh, are you, are you, or give it just four a ten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Track four was freaking dope too. Chad, there's nothing wrong with your tens. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with your tens. Yeah, ten. Ten. Yeah, this guy's insistence is about yeah. Drug dog. We're giving it a 10. <laughs> I'm going to stick right. with my 9.5. <laughs> Should we press on Ian? Yeah, Are you happy? I'm Are happy. You happy? No, I'm happy. happy. <laughs> Ian's happy. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for Caged? Yeah. Man, I've never seen someone like like force someone into a 10 so far. <laughs> no, I, I know Ian really likes that song. It is a great song. I love their squealing, like their pitch harmonics. They are pretty cool when they slide them down like that. They're like a little, you know, flicking the little baby bar. It, it is cool doing the sound like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sarah Ferris. Oh, kayak gini nih. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's my turn, uh, huh? It's your turn. Yeah, I, I think this is probably my least favorite on the album. I'll give it an A. Um, I, 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 uh, it's my, it's the song where I'm least happy with the drums, mm. and it, I'm sorry, just the drums mean a lot to me in music, you know. Yeah. And I feel like I, I, I respect that he's trying to do something different because there are some patterns and things that he does in this that he doesn't do on the rest of the album. I respect that, but I feel like it's just a little bit misplaced, like. I, I just, I, it's just not what I enjoy, you know. So there's there's some things in the song that are just a little bit like, it's just not the stronger song for me, you know. Yeah. And like I said, like you know, man, like I I can have <laughs> what the. <laughs> do you want to talk about this one, Nina? <laughs> I just figured you'd have more to say than <laughs> any of us. <laughs> well, well, you know, we gotta give Chad a little bit more. So <laughs> yeah, we'll put a what, C, right? <laughs> what are we gonna say, you guys? Like, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll worry about this at yeah, the end. We'll worry. Yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. Um, Any, anyway, what do you think, yeah, Chad? So I, I, it's just my least favorite song on the yeah. album, you know? What do you think, I'm, I'm going with an eight. I feel like it's kind of up there with, yeah, colliding in mind. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, everything's going to be high for this. Like, I am digging it. I, I like melodic death metal. I'm not as familiar with it as I am with traditional death metal. Plus, yeah, all the all the neoclassical kind of stuff going on. It's right. it is yeah. something that I have to get used to more. I I don't have it in my head as much as you guys do with a lot of the music you listen to. Right. But yeah. I'm I'm still really digging it, dude. And plus, mixed in with just like the just ferocious death metal, dude. The blast beats, the freaking mm -hmm. vocals. Like I sometimes I feel like it fits really well, and sometimes it's a little off putting. Right. But for right now, it's yeah, I'm enjoying it, and it it fits for me right now. Yeah. Plus, I feel like it, respectable. it respectable. Yeah, respectable. Yeah. yeah, you're good, man. But just my taste, my taste. Like it's just not something that I always go to. But I'm, I'm really yeah. enjoying it and, right now. And and I can't explain why certain things rub me the wrong way. I apologize if if, if it turns people off. But like, man, I, I just, uh, it's just it's just it's just your taste, it's just huh? taste in music. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, <clears throat> I give that one eight point five. I do feel like it's the weakest track, but. With that being said, the verse section is fudging awesome. You know, like the whole yeah. 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 Oh, and, 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 and I like that transition that. into the bridge too. Like that, that, that is a good rhythm section. Yeah. It's just when they go into the chorus. Yeah, the chorus doesn't do much for me, and that no. mid part didn't do much for me either. But I yeah. do like the whole. I do like that, but it is one of the weaker songs for me too. Yeah. That one and six are like my two least favorites, but I still really like them. You know, right. it's still awesome. You guys ready for the last track, Mind Revolution? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. This and is, we're this not is an early uh, one too that you got into. Like yeah. this song, uh, I remember track. only hearing the first like two minutes of it mm -hmm. though. I mm -hmm. didn't hear the rest of it. All I heard yeah. was like the build up, and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> what, what else do they do in this song?" Dude, Mind Revolution. Mind Revolution is my brain, man. I was just like, man. <laughs> so yeah, then when I finally heard the whole song, I was like, "This is sick," you know. Yeah. But this, the first two minutes of this song are just. It, it left an imprint on me that I'm just like, dude, this is so fucking legendary. Yeah. Uh, we're not doing the Japanese bonus track because it's a track on the EP Haunted by Shadows. So, you know, we're going to leave that on Haunted by Shadows instead of, you know, for our efforts today. So yeah. that one's called Free from Torment. But, um, yeah. You guys ready for Mind Revolution? Yeah. Yeah, let's Jeez. do it, man. Yeah. Last track. Yeah, good pick, Ian, though. It's, it's my thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how it jumps, you know, all these different... Yeah.
Stradivarius, like yeah. the, the way the piano is so far. I remember the one we had the burn, we cut off right there. It kept me engaged. A lot was happening. I, I enjoyed the blast beats. <laughs> and just some of the screams are just really sick, too. Like, I've been I've been enjoying his voice more as the album goes on. Like, yeah. I'm hearing more with it. And, I mean, I don't I don't have a ton to say because a lot happened. And I can't recall a lot of yeah. it. So I'm going to let you guys take it away. Wait, yeah. were there blast beats on that song? Yeah. Uh, what what part? I don't know of, but I don't know. I'm pretty I'll sure. We'll have to listen to it again. Yeah, we, we'd have we'll to have to, to do it again. It again. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do it again. But maybe I missed it. It's all good. Yeah, man. It, like, it doesn't matter. Um, I give it a 10. Just awesome. I just love the the way the melody. It's very epic, but kind of forlorn. The way the keyboard melody while he's like going on, going wild. It's like... Right, right. That whole... Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. And he's all bad, bad, bad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so freaking cool, and I just love that whole build up to all. Like, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you know, just really cool. It kind of reminds me of um, there's that Demi Borgir song, uh, "Kings of the Carnival Creation," where they 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 go into different keys or whatever. So like that melody is like the. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Skyfire thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like it's it, they kind of do a similar kind of thing where they kind of break from it to make a cool kind of melody, you know. And I, I love that. I think that's pretty cool. What do you give it, Ken? I'm, I'm thinking between a nine and a nine point five. Nine point five. Because <laughs> one of my issues with this song is it, it is seven minutes. Yeah, and I and it, yeah, it, 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 it goes. I, I understand why it's the closer. It goes with a, a three, four, six, eight feel throughout pretty much the whole song, which I, I'm glad that they did. 
but it doesn't get me all hyped up and like motivated. But I, I do like the, the, the overall like, you know, I, I, I like some of the things that they're doing. There's in this song. moments that are astounding. Yeah. Moments that are astounding, but, it, and also the lyrics didn't do as much for me, mm. you know, as some of the other songs. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it a nine. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I do think I like tracks like two and three and stuff more, you know, I just, but I do like those moments where just the piano is doing its thing, you know, mm. and um, I, I just love the piano. So yeah. Duh, I just think it's guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I am not um, texting my friends. I am uh, adding up the scores. Yeah, so, so, so let's have... Yeah, let's I, think, have... <laughs> I think I might have been a little too generous on this album. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, how about we do our outros for the album? We'll, you know... Yeah, okay. And then, um, and then Ian will do the uh, score. I'll do the and scores then, and then, then you can... can yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, works. Chad, what are your kind of closing thoughts with yeah. this album, though? Um, is... I, I, I am happy with my score. I knew it was going to be high. It is pretty dang high mm-hmm. um and for kind of like an introduction like i have heard this album before but it's not something that's ingrained in my head yeah yeah um but just from a listen there are a lot of parts i was enjoying a lot of parts that are really good there's a lot that kind of came and went just with i don't yeah. know i guess just with neo neoclassical just all the yeah the shredding like that it just it doesn't stick unless i listen to it a lot yeah i'm yeah. used to a lot more the blues <laughs> but, yeah 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 like um, um i'm curious like what do you think of the lyrics like overall like that's were that's they... the thing like i like with melodic death metal i feel like man i i like the lyrics a lot more than just kind of the i still like just the freaking gore stuff but sure sure yeah it's just it's not something you can dive deep into it's not something you can think about right. and with this i feel like it's it's just a little deeper i guess without sounding pretentious but i because because i smarter I, <laughs> I, I've I've gone through the 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 lyrics. I, I've gone through the lyrics. Oh yeah, more, we don't want to sound pretentious. <laughs> well, I've gone through the lyrics before, but it's been years and years. Yeah. So I, I've forgotten a lot of the lyrics, and like going through it with lyrics again, I was like, I was surprised with how individualistic a lot of the lyrics mm-hmm. were. Like that that kind of surprised me, and it kind of made me like, oh, that's kind of cool. Because when I hear the song "Nightmares Nevermore," that sounds something more mythical, mm-hmm. more mythological, yeah. not yeah. not like you know. You know, so they're they're a lot more relatable to like you know inner struggle mm-hmm. than I thought they were. I thought mm-hmm. I, I thought like look at the name thought, of their songs. Yeah, you thought you it know? was all just like atmospheric, yeah, haunted by shadows, and, yeah, and colliding like, in mind. Yeah, they were a lot like, more down to earth instead yeah, of being uh, in, insipid and, and yeah. kind of yeah. Like yeah. I thought there might have been those like little insipid kind of little you know out there moments or whatever, but they were they were pretty yeah. grounded uh, yeah. lyrics, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, did you want to add more to your closing thoughts? Or no, all, that's that's pretty kinda, much it. You guys take it yeah. away. Yeah, because so for my closing thoughts, yeah, I, I I really enjoy this album. I'm glad you picked it, Ian. Um, you know, it's not a perfect album for me, but it's still pretty. Nine point two seven is yeah, it's, it's still pretty, pretty, it's, it's pretty still up there. It, it is probably in my like top ten like yeah, melodic like, like, like death metal albums. albums. Like I I yeah. like Mind Revolution a lot. So. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, uh, not much more to add, though, but I'm yeah. just, you know, it was an enjoyable was, listen. Yeah, it, it was fun jamming out to this. Uh, I'm just going to give the uh, scores real quick, and then I'll just close out. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was fun doing this again. It's been a little while. Yeah. Um, so uh, I gave it the highest score. I gave it a 9.61. Uh, Kevin gave it the second highest. He gave it a 9.27. And then Chad gave it the lowest. He gave it a 9.05. So that old total score that we gave it was a 9.31. So wow, that's pretty really good. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. Um, yeah, just this is an awesome album. It's very energetic. It's very catchy, uh, melodic. Just, I don't know, everything that I kind of look for in melodic death metal, it pretty much has in spades, you know? And I feel like they do a good job of keeping the quality pretty high throughout. Um, I think Skyfire is one of those bands that, sadly, they're not as well known as some of the bigger bands. Right. They didn't put out as much work, you know? They I don't know if they toured as much as like a... Dark Tranquility or Soul Work or something like that. But for whatever the reason was, they seem to be kind of like a little bit more underground compared to a lot of the other more famous melodic death metal from Sweden. Uh, But I think these guys are just as awesome, just as, you know, good as a lot of their contemporaries. So Plus they haven't released an album in what, like 10 years or something? Yeah, the last one was like 2009. 2009, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like, I I don't know, they're, they're... I don't even know if they're still together. You yeah. Know? The yeah. last thing I got from them was that EP from 2017. Oh. So I don't know if, if they're, you know. So it's still floating around. Like, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Who knows? But um, yeah, that's uh, that's our thoughts. Thanks for joining with Skyfire. And uh, next week or next 
couple yeah. weeks. I was yeah. like, next, yeah. time, next, next time, time, next time, it's going to be your pick. Right. So, uh, yeah, that'll be really fun. Um, have a good night, and thanks for watching. See you guys.